Hello, today I'm going to show you how to shuffle a deck of cards. There's many ways to shuffle a deck of cards, some very popular, like the Riffle Shuffle or Over the Hand. Although popular, these techniques are not very good at randomizing your deck. Also, some of these techniques force you to bend your cards, and that's not very attractive if you really care about your cards. In the second part of the video, I'll show you the math behind this technique. Without further ado, let me start the demonstration. We start with a sorted deck of cards. On the first pass, we're going to put five cards on the table. On the second pass, we're going to put on top of the previous cards one card, except on the last one. So only four cards are layered. Then three cards are layered, then two, and finally just one. We start over and then put again five cards, then four, three, two, and one, and we repeat until we run out of cards. Now we put the deck back together, picking one pile at a time. At this point, your deck is not really randomized, but let's look at the math to understand how many times you need to do these steps until you get a properly random deck of cards. I call this shuffle technique the stairs shuffle. I name it this way since it layers the cards in a stair shape. Let's compare the result of the stair shuffle with a pseudo-random algorithm. Here in this chart, it plots the position of the cards for the computer algorithm. The vertical axis is the initial position of the card and the horizontal value is the new position of the card. So, for example, we can see that cards, the first card ended up in the second position. And I would guess that the last card, number 52, would be on the thirdiest position. The second chart shows the same, but for applying the stair shuffle, once to a sorted deck of cards. As you can see, there's pretty obvious patterns here, and it would be very easy to identify the cards and predict where each card will end up. So we need to do better than this. I also printed two other charts, this one for the computer generated one where the distance each card is from its original position. So negative numbers means that they were earlier than their original position, and positive numbers is that they were further down in the deck. And the second chart for uh, our algorithm, the stair shuffle. All right, so now let's Try instead of just running once, let's try to run the stair shuffle a few more times. Let's run it with a, a limit of five. So putting starting with five cards, and then four, three, two, one here. Okay. Here, yeah, we can obviously see some patterns here. So not not good enough. What if we run it three times? Yeah, a little bit harder. I can still still tell there's something not completely random. The best way if we increase the number of cards from 52 to 500. Let's see if this shows us the patterns better. As you can see, the random is in the first chart, the random algorithm is quite random. But here, yeah, we can actually see a little bit of pattern here. 
but not too bad. So now, what if instead of five, we put seven? So we will run the algorithm t times, and instead of uh, having a limit of five cards in the first layer, we'll have a, a limit of seven cards. Um, yeah, here I can't really tell any pattern. Uh, it would be really hard to tell them apart. And if we look at the distribution here, yeah, it's quite similar to the random one. Here, in our stair shuffle, we have a little bit more repetitions, at least one time. But it's still a bell kind of shape, and that's a good sign. So I think if if we apply the stair shuffle three times with a limit of seven, it's good enough for a deck of five hundred cards. If we applied it to a deck of 52 cards, yeah, still pretty hard to tell. But this is still not true randomness. If you want to add to true randomness, in between these steps, you probably should have something like a over the hand shuffle round, maybe one or twice, and that will make it actually proper random. and very unpredictable. That's it. I hope you apply this technique and good luck in your games.